Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Fish of Hex. My name is Travis. Today's video, I'm going to show you my weekly fragging process here in the fish room. Everything that I do from determining what corals I should cut, uh, cutting them, healing them, and then getting them ready to be sold on the website. Now I'm making this video because I get questions about the process from, from time to time, and I know a lot of you guys are looking to sell coral on your own, so I figured I'd show you what I do and what's been successful so you can do that and hopefully see the same success. Now the first thing I like to do is go to my Shopify account and see what has been successful selling wise, type wise, coral wise over the last uh, couple weeks. Now with everything, it has to be cut, it has to heal, and then it can be sold. So I always plan three weeks ahead. Two weeks at minimum, but three weeks, I try to give it that amount of time just because the corals can be fully healed and crusted and ready to ship without any worries. So after determining what corals have been successful over the last couple weeks, I like to go in and then determine what corals I could fit in this tank. Now, it does seem pretty full, but trust me, there's a quite a bit of room in here. We got all these gaps and all this stuff that has sold or went up for sale this last week. And uh, that's what I'm looking to fill. Fill those gaps, always keep the tank full so it is always healing and I always have something ready to go. Now, speaking of a healing and grow out tank, so this is one, I'm going to be converting this one later in the week to a secondary one. I'm gonna be actually transferring that rack over here, um, going to be utilizing this whole space because if it's somewhat empty, I'm not taking full advantage of the available water that I have here. If I could always have more coral growing and healing, better off the business is going to be. So we're gonna fix that later. Uh, speaking of cutting frags, I will be showing you guys today, I have to get in here and cut this bird's nest. I mean, look at this stuff. I can't ship a lot of this out because it's too big to even fit in cups or bags. I mean, this is just an example of a cup not going to fit and then the bags are even smaller. So we're gonna be cutting up some of this bird's nest uh, today as well. Uh, frag and frags, nothing wrong with it. And uh, I probably will make them buy one, get one free. Again, I had that sale for a little while. I just got to. I gotta clear up some room here. Anyway, so we determined uh, what corals are successful over the last couple weeks. I wanna keep cutting those because, you know, if they're successful and they're selling, I wanna keep selling them, of course. Now, then we determined how much room we have potentially for corals to cut and heal. And uh, I'll give you guys a rundown on this. So you guys see the numbers? This is the WYSIWYG. Everything that comes in the fish room heals here, heals here in this section, or it goes over to the other tank soon. Once it's healed over a two or three week period, it comes over here on these racks, gets pictures taken. Then it goes into the WYSIWYG. That's specifically WYSIWYG. Now I do have non-WYSIWYG and stuff like that that's in the other system or other tanks, not systems. It's all one system in the other tanks, healing and ready to go. So back on topic here, we determine what has been successful, needs to sell, how much room we have. Now it's time to go over and look at each tank and see what I should be cutting. Now. Because this is the 40 gallon, I kind of want to let it grow in. I am going to just let certain things grow a little bit longer. We got some torch here that are about to grow into the fire digi. I'm gonna let that grow for a little bit. Uh, we got the uh, a tort about to grow into a, a millipora. I'm gonna let it grow again just for a little bit to fill in. Now, I do have some red fire red digi in the back that I will start cutting today, just because I'm getting pretty low in my other tank, and that's one of those corals that are really popular. So, I'm gonna be cutting some of that, and that's pretty much it for this tank. Um, Again, I want to give it some time to grow out because it looks pretty empty. So I'm going to leave that tank alone for the most part. Come over here to the 300. I'll give you guys a brief rundown of what I plan on cutting today and the reasons behind it. So first things first, got to get in here and get some of this poison ivy out. Uh, it's starting to touch the uh, Slimer and another uh, Acro. Got to get a bunch of that out. Got to get some Tort out of here. Got to come down here and get some more of this Mangy Tort. Mangy Tort. Mangy Tort. I can't freaking speak English today. Uh get some of this out starting to uh, shade itself and that's another thing cutting this tank has to happen every single week or the coral is going to kill itself that's, that's pretty much my only option at this point I hate cutting it I really do it's good for business but I hate cutting it because it start it just looks you guys are gonna give me shit on this it looks like it's not even growing I cut it so often so many times it just looks like it's at a standstill it's not getting bigger the colonies aren't getting bigger but honestly this thing grows so damn fast I just have to cut it so it doesn't kill off a whole colony. Back to this. Uh, gonna be pulling out some of this. I'm gonna leave the Slimer alone for right now. Uh, there's some acros in the back. I might trim up a little bit. Uh, gonna grab some of this uh, Rainbow Millie. I already cut a bunch of this that's healing. Definitely going to be pulling out some of this uh, green purple tip acro. Uh, might, might grab some of this WWC. It's a little stressed out right now with some STN at the bottom of the fish is blocking. It's shading itself out. You gotta think all the light's coming down. Right, so it's all the lights coming down. 
and it's getting nothing underneath and that's where I'm getting some of that shading yeah I gotta feed you guys my bad uh, red Monty or yeah it looks orange to you it's really dark red the filter can be a little bit of a pain um, that's got to come out starting to block that $500 flow got to pull some of that out as well I really do need to cut some of this It's getting close I got a little bit of time left uh, for the purple uh, stylo but that's gonna have to get cut again I still have a ton of it for sale so I'm trying not to mess with it come down here I the other day I did trim out some of this uh, green Monty it was starting to grow up it was getting a little bit shaded and it was starting to kill some of the green digits so I trimmed some of that up already gonna leave the panopy birds nest alone leave them toward alone leave the hydro four alone I do see that this uh, chalice in the back here is killing off a whole bunch of my uh, Satosa, which, I mean, can't do anything about that. It's the feeder tentacles. Uh, that's what's been stressing out my um, pink lemonade, and that's why the polyps aren't out. It's just it's getting stung. It was a horrible place to put that chalice. That was, a, that was one of many dumb decisions I made in this tank, and uh, lesson learned for the future, I suppose. Uh, get up here. I guess probably going to leave this uh, acro alone. I've already trimmed some of this stuff out. The um, I forgot what the heck it's called. The monster and uh, the blueberry. We're already uh, purple berry. Sorry, we're already printed. Or jeez, I'm talking about printing. I've been printing so much stuff. I already removed some of that stuff. Going to get some of this PC rainbow out. That's a very popular coral. Getting a little bit of STN underneath here. You can see uh, shading. What are you going to do? Not happy about that at all. Uh, I did have a little bit of dip in alkalinity uh, because uh, when the dyno finally was gone from this system 99.9% .9 of it was gone had a big uptake in growth and the alkalinity plummeted over a two-day period I caught it pretty simple pretty pretty quickly it still dropped to half a point within 24 hours which is a little bit of an issue and that start I think that just added to the uh, the STN so gonna get some of this uh, granulosa as well and probably some of that uh, green pulse pour in the back but that's pretty much it when it comes to this tank uh, again I already mentioned that we are going to be fragging some frags and we'll take care of that as for this grow out this tank, we've already cut it a couple weeks ago. We're gonna give it some more time to heal. And it um, doesn't look like anything is touching so much, so we're pretty pretty good to go. Um, gonna put these guys on sale today, the uh, Galaxic Coral. It, they're just taking up too much room, so that stuff will be up for sale and you guys can snag that. But uh, yeah, so after going through the whole system, that's the whole process. And uh, yeah, I guess we can get started here in just a second. Uh, if you guys were wondering, these letters I made with a 3D printer. I am missing the B. I uh, printed it out and glued it upside down so it looked really dumb. So I just got to make a new one. So if you're wondering why I'm missing the B, that's why. So, all right, with everything said, I guess we can go ahead and get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started with the 40 gallon shallow reef and remove some of that fire digi. Now I'm going to go ahead and throw some music on and uh, we're going to fast forward this whole process because it is pretty time consuming. It usually takes me two to three hours uh, worth of work. And uh, what I'm going to do is just fast forward the whole cutting process and then I'll meet you guys over at the saw and we'll start making some frags.
All right, so we're gonna get started with the fragging process. I'm gonna be using acro plugs for the majority of these. I will switch over to the one inch uh, disc here. And uh, those will be for like the Monty Pour cap and the uh, $500 F-Low. But first thing I wanna do is get all the frags that don't require the bandsaw just yet. I'm gonna cut them, uh, make them to the size that I want, put them on here, frag them up, get them over to the grow out system, and then move over to the bandsaw and finish up everything else. I think I cut too much. We'll find out here in a minute. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna put some music on, enjoy the process. guys that's the entire process from beginning to end i'm gonna show you real quick all of the corals but uh yeah not too bad it took about two hours i didn't get the cut as much as i wanted to just because this tank got way too full too quickly and uh, you can see that we filled in all the spots over here you can see all the new plugs and everything it's pretty good and then uh took over quite a bit of the WYSIWYG section so i'm going to give those a few days to acclimate to the light heal up a little bit and then i'll transfer them over to uh, this other tank once i get the new rack in here uh, come to find out, it doesn't really matter how many tanks you have, you're just going to fill them up and need more tanks. I would really like to add a couple more low boys in here, but I just, I'm just not doing it. Because then i got to buy more lighting. And no, I'm just going to do like sales, like the buy one, get one free. And the only thing I didn't get to do today is cut up these green birds' nests. i got a ton of stuff to do, so I'm going to have to save that for another day. But anyway, 
I might just have to do more blow-off sales to make more room. That's pretty much all I can think of at the moment. I don't want to add any more tanks. I'm happy with this setup so far. Everything's stable. The system's doing very, very well. I don't want to mess with that. So, yeah, that is the entire process from beginning to end. And again, I do this every single week. And uh, <laughs> it's, a, it's a hell of a job. And it, I know it doesn't seem too bad, but... Man, I wish my arms were longer, and I just wish that I had an easier way to get these frags out the bottom of the tank. There's still stuff back there. There's a whole bunch of that F flow back behind this Lobo. There's little frags here and there. I will get them once the flow moves them to the front of the tank. And I do use tweezers, and I use a little bit of an acrylic rod to move stuff forward. It is a 30-inch tall tank. Arms just aren't long enough, I suppose. But, uh, yeah, so that's about it for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it and gave you a little bit of an insight on what I do every single week. And if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And if you want to support the channel, check out fishofhex.com where this stuff will be for sale at some point. All right, peace.